What's up, guys? Uh, Jack here again, and welcome to another episode of Friday Duels. And let's get started. Alrighty, so I made uh, a Nine Tails GX deck, and we're gonna test it out. I've only played once. I made it last night. I thought it was okay. I like, kind of enjoyed it. And right before I made this video, I tweaked the deck a little bit more. Just based on yesterday's uh, playtesting. So we're just going to keep playtesting again. And we'll see if we'll keep changing the deck or not. And we won the coin flip. Cool. And we got a basic. So that's pretty good. He's also playing some form of water deck. Okay, cool. I mean, yeah, I should have been dead gave away the blue deck box. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, well. Oh, oh he's playing gold duck. Okay. That's a slightly annoying deck, but hopefully we can deal with it. Squirtle, Squirtle. <laughs> That's pretty cool sleeves. Not gonna lie. Okay, so we're going to start out with Trainer's Mail. I completely forgot that I actually put Trainer's Mail in this deck. Even though I just edited this deck. <laughs> oh, well, it happens. And I won't equip this with... Uh, does he play any GXs? I doubt it. I feel like he wouldn't. So we're just going to dump these two. We're actually gonna search for uh, a Glacier on here. Since he is an evolution Pokemon. I mean, the, uh, the opponent is playing evolution Pokemon. Yeah, we just try to thin our hand down for the purposes of Lily. Mm, it actually doesn't matter. I may be overextending here, normally because I really like Lily, and drawing a lot of cards feels like it might be a good thing, but who knows. Uh, here, we'll just end our turn for now. No, no reason to overextend any further. So right now, all we gotta do is just wait on him. Confusion wave, cool. Oh, he ends. So, either way, even if I had kept going, it wouldn't matter because he ends. Mm. Pretty okay, I guess, but no energy, just annoying. And look, we get the energy now. Kind of cool. Yeah, we'll dump the energy on him. And uh, we'll try to go for Beacon here. And we got it. See, this is why I was debating when I was uh, fixing up the deck. I put it in as filler space, one dive ball alongside the me yeah one dive ball but now i'm thinking about it maybe i don't actually need it because you know beacon is a thing it searches for anything i need and then you know you go with the logic then why play ultra ball i mean you play ultra ball because you want to discard your water energy so you can uh, aqua patch them but also because uh, sometimes you just need another pokemon you know the uh, beacon can only get you so far so i don't know we'll see We'll see how this goes. Gold Duck. Oh, uh, I think he kills it. Yeah, he should kill it. That's fine. Yeah. No, we'll 
we'll save him. Dump away an energy, and we'll grab a nine tails here. No, oh, then I got an end. That's pretty good. I was actually gonna be a secret for Lily again, so I can draw more cards. But if we got an end, that's pretty good. And we got an aqua patch too, which is definitely always a good thing. I think I had another energy. I feel like I should have attached it. Oh, well. And there goes another aqua patch. Nice. No, that's fine. Yep, no more energy in grave, so it's good. No, look, there goes the dive ball. <laughs> Alright. Alrighty, cool, Professor's letter. I'm guessing he was out of energy. I mean, in his hand. Okay. Okay, I think we're just gonna end up playing the rough seas here. I know it benefits him too, but I'm trying not, not to get this nine tails dead. Yeah, yeah we'll play Lily. You know, normally I'd end, but I have the switch and I need the energy. It didn't actually help. I guess we'll, we'll just do that. Well, I guess I'm forced to pass here. And then he'll use his star meat to get back his energy, and then he'll just keep uh, repeating the process back and forth. Oh, but he ends, though. So, even though I may lose the switch, if I get another energy, I guess that's fine. Wow, okay. That's pretty good, actually. Double jet. Yep, it dies for 120. Gonna be up though, I can promote him up now. And get that energy going. story here and at least now we'll, we'll be protected 
you know, unless he Lysander's out the uh, the Bullpex and then kills it. But then it's only the Glaceon left, and we'll still be protected. Yep, there he goes, taking advantage of my stadium. See what he grabs. So he's grabbing. Oh, he's grabbing a Remoraid. Okay, that makes sense actually. Mm, that trainer's man. Okay. Be a seeker. I mean, he's sick more this turn too. He plays three ends. One sick. This one sick. One grave. Okay. All right. Seven. Iron energy got wasted already. Seven engraved to one field. You know, if you back, that's fine. Um, we'll probably grab the Sycamore next turn, maybe with that Via Seeker. Since he only has three prizes as opposed to my six. But I'm not sure yet. Hmm. <laughs> No, it's actually kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. Mm, okay. Let's see what's in my graveyard. Alright. Yeah, we're just going to crystal right here. We can claim our first prize card here. I guess the way the way it works out now is that he can fully heal it. Oh no, he's left at 10 HP, but maybe I guess that was my misplay dropping down that rough seas earlier. I thought I could save the alone and nine tails, but I couldn't. I guess the way the way it works here is that he'll heal up and then he'll replace his stadium with mine. Sorry, my stadium with his, but he didn't heal up. Oh my. Once during each player's turn, that player may search their deck for a basic water Pokemon or a basic fighting Pokemon and put the Pokemon under their bench. Oh, well, okay, that works too, you know, confusion. Okay, so we are he's trying to retrieve that one. Yep. This is actually a smart move there. Making me confused. Oh, we got the nine tails here though. Drops him down to three cards as opposed to my five, which is actually fine here. And here we'll try to attack. And it fails. Yeah. And then that's fine. Yeah, I guess from here he would just attach another energy, he can retreat. He can do space beacon, get, get him back, and then his 
uh, Goja can go on double jet. I'm trying to go in for that damage. Yep. That is one strategy around the Glaceon. Oh wait, oh, I tried to use his stadium there by accident, oops, okay. What does it do with that 200 bench Pokemon? Okay, so, can let it die and attempt to do the Crystal Ray here, or we can switch out into the Nine Tails already. No, but uh, it only does 50. It wouldn't really get rid of anything, and it put me in danger. If I get to 50, I can I can kill it. I mean, I can kill it, but then he has another one set up. And just grab the energy back. Uh, yeah, we'll test our luck. And you never know. And it just didn't work out. Oh well. Yep, and then he just gonna do it again. What is it? That's 120, right? Yep, 120. Yeah, I think I lost this one. I misplayed a few times, and uh, of course, I got. I ended up with. Um, I ended up being stuck at the beginning. I guess that helps. So I guess that worked out for us. Was able to resurrect it, quote unquote. I should have a few more water energy left, but it's riser in the deck, so I guess that's fine. Yep, and then he's going to go with the confusion again. Seems like it seems like that strategy worked for him before. And Lady Luck wasn't on our side.
And I haven't drawn into any of my Lysanders. See if I could Lysander, I'd Lysander out that Starmie. And I keep fueling his energy. Retreat and bring back the nine tails, do 50 damage somewhere, but I don't think it's worth it. We'll try again, hopefully, it works. And it didn't. Hooray! Yeah, he's just gonna switch out now, most likely. Put back the Go duck and double jet for 120. Give me a really weak. And then that would secure him the final prize. Well, not yet, but almost. Do it again though, that's the thing. I could put the energy, I could retreat him, normally get him back out. And then... And then, you know, do damage here. He's able to free retreat into one of these guys. And he's able to do the process all over again. That's the downside to that. Just do that. Since that's all I can do. And even if I had done it to Starmie, Starmie would just heal since he's staying in the back. So I'll do it on that. Just waiting on him now. Waiting for him to rinse, wash, and repeat. Sorry, wash, rinse, and repeat. Now I'm thinking about it. I wonder how well this deck does against Greninja. Oh, I lost for sure, but uh, I, w I wonder about that. So this deck sets up pretty fast too. Oh, Alright, well that one didn't go so well. Spin the wheel, it seems. Alright. So that didn't go very well, so let's try again. You know, it's all about trial and error. Fighting Psychic. Interesting. I don't think it'd be Pacinian, would it? That'd be kind of interesting. And no basic. But that is A-OK. -okay.
And no basic. Hooray. And no basic. Yay, no basic. And we finally got a basic, guys. Hooray. And all those cards you drew. Oh, something with Crow Gunk and Marini. Oh, Toxapex. Okay, that's kind of interesting, I guess. Oh, yeah, sure. No, yeah, definitely. That hand definitely helps. Especially the guy allowing us to shrink his hand down. Definitely a great thing. Especially with all the multiples of cards we had in our hand. Oof. Okay, so now we're going to pass our turn. Corio. Oh, this is the one that searches for energy, right? And puts there for two basic energies. Oh, okay, that fighting energy looked kind of cool. Oof. I'm poisoned. Oh no, I'm poisoned. could come in handy. Uh, for low Vopex, it's poisoned. Okay, so he passes turn there. We get that energy on that. Drop you down. And then normal poison. Hooray. I almost see no need to do. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess. Oh, I guess we can't take it back now. Oh, well. He's gonna poison us next turn, most likely, since he lived. And the treats are too less for psychics and dark, I believe. Yeah. Let's just do poison up. He failed. Okay, defend Pokemon. It's poison. Put three more damage counters on that Pokemon between turns. Oh, okay. Sure. Except, you know, I'm not poisoned. This wave just because of uh, the aqua patch. And then we can aqua patch into this glaceon, put an energy manually on this, and we can still have the ice blade active. 
And there's only one item in grave right now. So that trash lunch cover though isn't doing very much. At least that rough seas is kind of counterbalancing the whole being poisoned thing. Well, not anymore. So as I said it, he dropped an ultra of the moon. Another prize. Hey, look, it's a water energy. Guess we got lucky there. <laughs> Unless you can drop another basic down, then we win. Well, we don't win immediately, but we do technically get the win here. Second one. And this energy in green. So I'll grab the alpha patch as well. And then we'll use it to heal up. And then we'll start uh, pumping up our other Vopex. with the damage change. Nice. Dropping down the Oricoria to search for more energy. And this Mewtwo looks really pretty, I'm not gonna lie. try something here don't know how well it's gonna work out but we'll see provided that I can get the energy of course never mind I completely forgot about the choice band and the choice band takes care of it immediately and we're lucky enough to get another energy that was a complete fluke on my, on my part, completely forgetting about the choice band, but I'm pretty sure the opponent thought that I thought that out very well. And lo and behold, we secure a victory. Really? Out of all the things we could have gotten in that, in that spin, we landed where we landed last time. Well, I guess I'll show you guys the deck for uh, for now. And again, I kind of got watched one or two videos of how about how this deck should work, and then from there I just I just used that as a basis to build something on with him. So again, don't if I built him wrong, I don't know. If I built him right, then 
a hooray. But let's just jump right into it. So we're playing four Vopex for the beacon ability that lets you search your deck for up to two Pokemon and you put them into your hand, which is pretty nice and it costs zero energy. Four of him, playing three of the unknown and nine tails. For two colorless, it does ice blade. It does 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. For Blizzard Edge, it's two water and a colorless. It does 160, but it, it, has, it has you discard two energy from it. And then for a nice path, GX for two colorless. It moves all damage counters from this Pokemon to your opponent's active Pokemon. So it's kind of like the damage change from you two. But instead, this is a GX attack. And then when you have to discard your energies for that, that's why I play the Aqua Pouch. Aqua Pouch attaches a water energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. Which is nice. And then the, the one Glaceon uh, EX that I happen to have. He does second bite for a colorless and a water energy. It attack does 10 more damage. But it's countering your opponent's active Pokemon, and it starts off at base 20. And then Crystal Ray for one water energy and two colorless, the 70 damage, and then during your opponent's next turn, it prevents all damage that would be dealt to him from, from attacks from evolution Pokemon. So it's pretty nice right now against all of these evolution GXs. You play the one, I'm playing the one dive ball, it actually never came up. I may end up taking it out of the deck. I'm playing the one field blower just to knock off your pesky fields pesky items you know float stones on those wobble fits things like that uh for puzzles i like puzzles it helps you retrieve stuff it's like via seekers for everything and anything and then the one super rod and the one switch um i like switch don't know if i keep it and same thing with the four trainers mails they're really nice but right now in a format where we're playing with garbador uh Sh shoving items into your grave isn't always that good and that's pretty much what trainers now is for ultra balls you know discard your energies aqua patch them back and you get a pokemon and the four via seekers uh three rough seas to heal 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 the damage that you take on your water pokemon i believe it heals 30 damage and the one hex maniac to turn off abilities in case we really need to in case we run into like Vile Plume or something, we can turn we can turn them off for a turn. One Lily, oh, opening hand lets you drop to grab eight cards, which is pretty nice. The two Lysanders, the two ends, the four Sycamores, and just two Choice Bands here to do damage to those EXs and GXs, extra damage. Two Colorless, I'm guessing. Playing them mostly for this guy. We can see it more often and and for any reason we don't have any water energy we can just equip it onto him and do the ice blade attack immediately and then as for regular water energy eight nine ten eleven we're playing eleven regular water energy alrighty guys um, that was the deck and uh, hopefully we can get more wins right so I think we're like we're pretty evened out we got a loss but we redeemed ourselves by getting at least one win Alrighty guys, uh, this has been Jack and I'll catch you guys next time.